Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Salford City career mode with me, the whole California show. Welcome back. We are in February. We have got out of the transfer window. We made some really good signings. We made some really good, real good business in the in that. I think uh, I'll get to them in just a second. As you can see, we are still in sixth place here, guys. We are outperforming our expectations by a massive amount. 25 games into the Premier League season. We have won 14, drawn 4 and lost 7, obviously. Um, I'm really, really happy about that. I was more expecting us being mid-table, maybe lower table. But you look, we're not going to um, out like do a, an absolute Leicester where we go out and, and win the Premier League. Uh, you, you could just see how stupidly good you have to be to win the Prem. So yeah, basically we all have Premier League to deal with. Hopefully next year when we strengthen the team, we will be going for these bigger trophies. And we will be trying to go... Because I do want to start getting some silverware in. Because obviously we haven't really got any silverware yet. Um, as I said before, we did make some very, very good signings. We made some pretty good ones. Um, if we look at ours. Our main ones was, obviously, we did sell Chavi Simmons. Well, obviously, yes, I was hoping it was going to be our next Chavi. The you know, obviously like a Schneider type maybe someone who's going to get around the pitch for us. If I'm going to be completely honest, he didn't feel as good as I thought he was going to be. I he just didn't feel right to me. It just didn't feel good enough. So we sold him on for 20 million. And we got a banging price for him. And then we go out and get basically this nearly the same overall player with the same value for eight million pounds less. He's taller as well. He's a better defender. And he's actually showing great potential as well. So, this guy can get in high 80s. This guy I've been after for quite a long time. As well, we sent uh, Albert Armstrong out on loan as well. Just simply because we did bring Baguz in the last episodes as well. So, he's been doing very well. So, Albert Armstrong's just not going to get any game time. So, I'd rather get him out on loan just for this half of the season. Hopefully, he comes out next season just a little bit higher rated if he does. We can evaluate where we have to go. Um, apart from that, obviously, we brought Brignoli in as well. Another right mid who can challenge uh, Broth and Dunbar to what right mid spot. Uh, we brought Bergus in for 2 million plus Ramsey. He has, in the games he's played so far, he has been absolutely outstanding. But that is all what you need to be caught, caught up on. We are in February. Let's get straight. Hopefully, we will have a good episode here and stay in this position because we do have the chance to be in Europa League next year. What will be brilliant. Yeah, I've got a transfer offer here for Scott Pollock, someone who I have got in transfer list. Um, I'm not going to try and get too much more. Um, I might try and get about 750 between 500k as well. Uh, he's just, I've brought that many midfielders in now. He's just not growing anymore. He just kind of needs to get him off the books. But, <laughs> unfortunately he didn't grow as much. As I wanted to in the last few seasons. But obviously, it was one of our season one signings. So, um, Bagoos wants to have a go on. I probably, do you know what? I probably will put him in for this game because I think uh, O'Hare had a bit of a crappy game last time, if I remember rightly. Uh, because it's quite a big game, we will go in for a bit of a press conference here. Thanks, I guys. do we actually need to now, yeah? change my hair as well because I have actually had a haircut since lockdown. So, I will change that after this. Uh, there's always a buzz around new signing. You brought Marie from Barcelona. Spurs can't wait to see him in action. Do you expect to get him in on the pitch against Spurs? Um, he'll take his chance for his come. I don't know if I'll start him in, in against Spurs. I'll probably bring him off the bench. Um, it's been a great result last time running two goals against Tottenham Hotspur. What are you expecting here? Could you boys do another victory? Um, if we do our jobs, we'll be okay. We'll see what lessons they learned. Look, I'm glad to can't wait. Let's get out. Let's get our roll up. Your last bit shit ended in a very narrow win. Looking back on that performance, are you thinking about making change for the starting lineup? The strong squad. The squad strong. We'll make change if we need to. We're all in You know what? I've got a high school musical song in my head. We're all in this together. I would not do that in a press conference, by the way. Okay, just so you know. guys, we are that out of time. the cheesiest time. thing I've ever, ever done, so... Please don't judge me. So we are going up against Spurs, Tottenham Hotspur v... Last time... Jesus Christ, if you look at our team. Dotsy, obviously, I don't think he's that high rated, but 
We've got Max Hummels, who, to be quite fair, four years down the line, he's got to be dropping off. Cool Bali as well. We've got quite an old defence. Obviously, Regulon, he's very good. Son, Everton, Bergwijn, Hoiberg, Rodri, Richardson. They've got a very good team on paper, so we'll have to see how it goes. Bellingham as well. He's just gone up to an 80 overall. That is fantastic to see. And bless the pinner. I've got three plays instantly in the in the 80s. That is absolutely fantastic. Also, Bagus is going to come in for this game. I'm going to give him the go-ahead. Um, apart from that, I'm going to leave it as it is. Uh, he's the only one who's asked for game time. I want to kind of keep him happy. He had very good game in his debut. He's got two goals. Um, Masenga has actually decided to go up on one overall as well. Since uh, I bought Mariba in as well. Uh, Mariba's going to start on the bench. He most likely will get a goal from the bench as well. So hopefully let's go to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Let's hopefully kick this episode off with a win. So we have a, a very nice Tottenham Hotspur Stadium as well. It's a big game for they are for. We are six. If we can pitch. manage to get a result here. We'll obviously solidify where we are, but also we will narrow the gap to them. I would have to see what Hummels and all that are rated by now. I mean, he's never been the fastest, but it was still like that 86 rating what he always was. But you know what? We always uh, do well against the bigger team. Oh, we can't be doing that badly. We've got the best defense. Hummels and Corby must be doing alright at the back. We will check their team just to make sure they've got uh, I think that's Martinez. We've still got Sesson Young, I just saw on the bench. Lloris as well is still there. He must be going off 40. Like, Jesus Christ. This must be... Uh, this is a very aging squad. With a very few young, like, wonder kids. Doherty must be about 30 now. Still got Hugo Lloris. Doherty, Hummel, Bali, Regulon, all there. Rodri, Hoiberg, good midfield. Bergwijn, Everton, and Son, very good attack midfield. And Richarlison up front with pace. They got Lottie on there. Joyce Martinez, Kessie. I didn't see the rest, but Jesus Christ, they have got a stacked team. Also got Rodriego, Horvath, So, and Nkunku. Asengo, and Bellingham, and Babuz comes in. Graf, Jimenez, who is the top goal scorer, and Asante on the left. We have got Mariba, EX Mariba on the bench as well. Hopefully comes on for his debut. Let's get this uh, episode off with a bang. Come on, Salford. Oh, a beautiful from him is straight from the kickoff. Bagus, he finds a Masengo. We're going to try and get this game off to a bang. And there's using strength very well. Going him out to Salante, who sort of bounced off. Just as well against it. It's down to it. Okay, quite, quite past him. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm going to keep. Oh, beautiful from Horvat. I'm going to keep. Finds. And he's telling him a Sengo. Putting his out. Beautiful. Oh, but Braff, what is that? I'm all for it, but. Oh, cheeky little fucker. You tried to get through there, but Embe is so again, and we can counter here. Waiting for that support, waiting for that support. And Bellingham. Bellingham's got there! And Larice with the save! Oh, Jesus Christ, that was a scramble. I wasn't too sure with the. I think Larice lost a bit of pace. Sante, back heel. Bellingham from distance and Jimenez is there. Oh, he just he can't loop it over the Reese, but that was a good chance. The deflection was very kind, because I've got to say that. Bellingham. Bagus. Looking to go for 1 2, but he's going to ignore him. And Jimenez is going to wait for his runners. And see Bra. Bra can come in. But he, oh, the, the cutback doesn't work out. Charlton, Rodri, only finds Horvath, then Jude Bellingham can't control it. Oh, 
Horvat misses his tackle. Bless her pin, her can't save it. And Richarlison had pounced on it. I think that's Richarlison. Oh, I don't know how Horvat's challenge didn't make his man there. I've got to see this again. I don't really have any complaints. It was a big shot, and we cut. I can't really blame Pinner. Let's have a look at this. Oh, Richarlison just got it away before Horvat made contact. And obviously, it's just too powerful for Pinner. Pinner tries his best, but Richarlison gets Spurs the lead for the first shot on target as well. The girls trying to switch the play. Sante going back to Jude Bellingham, and he's played a beautiful through ball out to and Jimenez is trying to get onto that right now it, Hummels and Koulibaly are just being an absolute rock in that middle oh we're forcing to put that out we newly introduced Dunbar's going to take it going to try and go in and oh my god he nearly catches Lloris out Lloris somehow put that power driver over the bar Look at that. Oh, Luis missed it. Oh, cool ball you get. Honestly, we can just not get past fucking Hummels and and cool ball right now. It's as simple as that. We just can't get around them. Oh, I've got Bagoos on the over like though. Dunbar. Oh, but again, we can't get around him. Regulon just knows exactly where I'm going to go. Oh, beautiful for Iron Bear. So, if he can, if Nkunku can just shove this one up. Oh, I need someone. I need someone. Oh, Dunbar's there. It's not the best of balls. But Dunbar, he can get in field here. Oh, but Regulon again! He has had Braff and Dunbar under his thumb today. They're playing keep ball. Oh, piss off that Spurs, you little wankers. Honestly, you're a piece of shit. Oh, that is a frustrating game. I'm not going to say we deserve to win that, but we definitely didn't deserve to lose it. can't really blame anyone, it's more the fact their defence was ridiculous, especially Hummels and Koulibaly, they were stupidly good, I couldn't, and Reguilon, he just had Graf in his back pocket all game, and also I forgot to bring a Maribra or anyone else, because I was so fixated on trying to get an e but not me, not the way I wanted to start this episode. The most frustrating bit about that game we had 11 shots to their two. I don't even know what that other shot was. The only shot I remember was the Richard or someone. Uh, Bagus feels like he could have contributed more, but in all honesty, my whole team was wrapped around their midfield and their defence's finger. We just could not get anywhere near them. But honestly, it's we can't really do anything about it. We... We tried, we've got to remember, we are still, even though we've been outperforming our expectations, we are still are still playing against teams like that who are way better than us at the moment. Okay guys, we are at the next game, what is against Bournemouth? They are 20th, we are at home as well, so I'm going to simulate with my best team, just hopefully get the result. Um, I'm going to keep my best team out there, hopefully come on. And we lose! What is going on right now? I. We don't have a that good a team compared to ours. Scoring is becoming a problem for us right now. We we honestly can't score right now. We lose one nil at home. Oh, this episode's going badly quickly. Oh my god. Arsenal the ninth. By the looks of it, they've got a very, very good team. If you if you remember, we actually were absolutely dominating them, and then suddenly at the end of the game, we absolutely just suddenly turned up and start and scored like three goals in a row. So 
Um, for this one, I'm going to, as I said, uh, I'm going to put Mariba in. I'm also going to play Dunbar because Braff had a bit of a stinker in the last one as well. As I'm going to play Jones instead of him, and I'm going to give him as a rest. Uh, Santa played all right in the last game, so I'm not going to really worry about him too much. I'll also put uh, James Wilden in there as well. Give him a run out as well because he's not had a game yet. Try to give a game to people who have not had a game yet. Um, but apart from that, hopefully this team is good enough to get a win. We do need a win because we've lost both our games so far. And this is the last game of the episode, guys. So hopefully we can get it. Let's go. Come on. I am intrigued because if you remember the last game, they massively under under fought us because Please if you remember, the their attack was okay. The Martinelli was their best player. But their whole backline, even their goalkeeper, was their bet second string backline. And that's why we I think we absolutely cut them to pieces. Is that is that even right? I think it is. Um well, I can see Tierney, obviously that's a bit better one. We got Yes, okay, okay, they are taking this more seriously. I can see Kimpembe there, he was actually on the bench in the last game. I don't know, I think we had Mavropanos and Medley. They're basically like three third string centre back partnership in against us, and we absolutely dominated them in the first half. Let's have a look at the team anyway. Leno is back in net, not Renarsson. Bellerin, Vallejo, Kempembe tip that, he's a good back line. Henderson and Lehmer, good midfield. Back to Saka, Stenger, Mas Oh my god, that's good. Holy crap, this Arsenal team got better. Danny Olm on the bench. Alaba, Malin, Ericsson and Belgood, who actually scored a belt of a goal against us. He, he basically took it off and went straight through my team. Thank you for attending the Emirates Come Stadium. Addy Emirates team, let's cause an upset. Even though we've got a better team, let's do this. Come on. Oh, beautiful from Bellingham. Fans out here. Oh, Dunbar's been sent away. And Dunbar, you can straighten up here, but again, Tierney. Jesus Christ, the left backs at the moment are absolutely doing bits for the, tip, for the opposition. And Tierney, Jesus Christ, he's just, he's just not giving up right now, is he? Jesus, he's peace his health. Oh, Bellingham, can we get this up? Oh, look at that. Tierney is out of position. Dunbar, can he straighten up here? Yes, he can. Can he shoot? Can he score? And he's Santa on the back one. On the rebound. On the counter attack, we get him. We get our first goal of the day as well. He's took us three games, but we finally scored the first one of the episode with a Santa, our captain. Dunbar, again, he's been very sharp for his first few minutes. Ricky J. Jones puts a beautiful ball through. Kempembe was doing everything he could. Leno, good save, but it came out to the one man. I've got to say, I've had some good luck with bounces in this episode. In both games I've played, but Vallejo nearly got on that beautiful start. This has been a very, very interesting start to the season. Yeah, his 10th goal. He's started to pick up his scoring in this in this season, this Arntag. Ball now. Bellingham doing a lot of defensive work right now. Calvin Stenz and Horvat does really well. Mbe so trying to get out of bother, but Saka is there. Ah, oh, bless the pillow with a good save. James Wilder's got to get this one away. He does. Oh, he tries to go inside Bellerin. Got to save their fullbacks is rapid right now. Get out to Martinelli. That young midfield is absolutely causing problems right now. And that is what happens. That is what happens when you got people like Stengs, Martinelli, and Saka in that midfield with Maxil Miller and Gomez up front. They're just cutting you to pieces like that. Oh dear, that's quite back. Yeah, as I said, look at this. The plane is so narrow. Horvath jumps in there. Can't get anything into it. Mbe so can't get a touch on it. Oh, 
by a beautiful ball. Ricky J. Jones with a snapshot. On the turn, he nearly made Arsenal pay there. We're attacking a lot better in this game. I'm liking it so far. It's competitive. Oh, thank God. Oh, look at that. I see. Asante. And Asante has a lot of room to move here. I see Bellingham in the middle. And then it's just... It's Ricky J. Jones who finally gets it in. Come on. We get the go-ahead goal, Jones gets the goal again. I nearly screwed it up, I didn't realise it actually fell to Jones. We'll have another look at it here for the replay. Look at Sante. Well, to be honest, it turned out to be an absolutely stunning cross. Leno just didn't die for it. That was a weird animation by the keeper. But I'll take that, Jones gets the goal. Come on, 2-1. trying to keep on him but Martinelli was just going through it my entire team there but I right, just dodging and curling around I mean thank god oh he's a ball up with the final block thank the lord gonna make two substitutions out Milligan and Baguza gotta come on for Bellingham and Asante need some good I need uh, Baguza on there just for his passing just trying to Williams getting very tired and Sante as well. Need Milligan a few minutes on the pitch as well. Oh, what a clearance. Oh, and Bakuz nearly, nearly got that. Allen. Oh, but Mbe so. Mbe so, I've got to say this season, he has been a rock. Dunbar can't get ahead on it. Unfortunately, he's not been able to make the impact in this game I wanted him to, but Arsenal still on this, and Mbe so there again. It is just hacking it away right now. I'm trying to keep hold of it. And James Wilding's giving away a penalty. I lunged in stupidly there. I saw the ball. I was hoping I could get that. It's right on the edge as well. I mean, I don't know. Is that... Oh, it is going to be a penalty. Oh, Danny Omar has a chance to level us up right at the end. Hey, he's put it wide! I mean, I was going that way anyway. As you saw the way Blessed Pinna, I don't know why he didn't dive. He tried to chip it. Oh, my God. James Warren's got away with one there. Come on. That's the tap. And Horvath does a really good job. But again, we can't keep up with it. You've got to be shitting me. You have got to be kidding me. Paul McNair, look at that. He kicks it around in me, so. Oh, that is just pure bullshit. I'm sorry, that's pure FIFA bullshit. How could you do that around a player? Oh my god, I'm I'm actually shell shocked. Last kick in the game as well. Oh my god. They got us late again. I mean, last time it didn't matter. We were, we had enough goals. Oh my god, that's not good enough. That is not good enough. Come on! Not the not the best episode is in terms of results, but we have got a confirmation here with Scott Pollock leaving the club. Thank you for your services. Obviously, we do have him until the end of the season. Probably not going to play, but obviously, thank you for your service, Scott Pollock. Appreciated it. He was part of the the revival of Salford City, so he's got remembered for that. Unfortunately, obviously, now that we we lost to and drew that last game, that is honestly. Uh, it's not, I, if I'm being honest, it's not a game I said we should have won. It can't be a game I said we should have won. That's why I'm not so angry and shouty about it. Because it's like, we could have played better. 
but we did what we could. But do you know what? We will move ahead. We have got a youth uh, reports going on. We'll just check out what the youth carry is like. This Underwood lad that he can obviously go. He's just honestly this guy this slate as well. Williamson and Goddard are brilliant, but I'm gonna keep him in there. Hopefully, see what we do. I'm gonna look at Australia. Anything? I see a 52 to 70. What's that about? Uh, Bradley Paul. He's not too bad, I suppose. Lamb. Oh, six foot six goalkeeper. Okay, he he's not too bad. Um, Bradley Paul. I'll bring him in just because he's not gonna cost as much. Let's look at Mexico. Really not getting much from Mexico, if I'm being quite honest. I thought we were going to find like a next Hernandez or something like that. Um, England are really not too good either. I would have thought a three star youth kind of scout, you'd get more, but oh, uh, what are you going to do? But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. We've got about 10 or so games left in the Premier League. I'm most likely going to try and get this season done and dusted within the next two to three episodes. Uh, but apart from that, as always, I'm Hawkeye Punisher. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you've been enjoying it. I will catch you in the next episode. I am out. <laughs>